welcome back to my YouTube channel. And first, let me start off by saying I am so, 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 so sorry that I have not been very active in these last few weeks. I've just gotten really caught up between band and homework and school and family and me and everything. <laughs> So yes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, this is if this is your first time seeing me, please, 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 please hit that subscribe button, give this video a big ol' like, and leave a comment. If you're new here, say hi. If you're returning, say what up. <laughs> and feel free to leave any comments of what you guys might want to see next. So yeah, I'm so excited to be back, and I'll try and get this a, a more regular schedule for you guys. Now, if you notice, today I don't have my glasses. Oh no! <laughs> that is because today we will be doing a makeup slash what are my favorites kind of video. So today I will be creating this makeup look in this area. And I will be just telling you guys maybe some of my favorites, why they're my favorites, like movies, colors, and stuff along those lines. So, let's get right on into this video, shall we? Alright, so first, as you guys can have or saw, here I'll put it up again, this lovely makeup look, it's very purple, it's very dark, it's very mysterious. We know a mysterious girl, no. Okay, disclaimer, I am not good at makeup whatsoever. I really just started recently wearing it, and even that, even so, I haven't done anything this complicated. <laughs> but we're going to try. <laughs> I'm probably going to fail, but that's okay. Also, a few things about me and my makeup. I do not use foundation concealer, I don't use bronzer or contour, and I really, actually, I don't even do my eyebrows either. Because honestly, I just, I don't want to ruin my skin, because <laughs> I don't have the best skin, so when it's clear, I like to keep it as clear as possible. You know what I mean? Yeah, you do. Alright, so, let's dive right in. Now, I think I'll only start with one eye first, and then I'll go off camera and do the other eye. I don't know. Also, please do not hate on me, okay? If you see me using a brush or putting a color somewhere and you're like, mm, that ain't right. Don't judge me. Please don't hate me in the comments. I'm just gonna see what we can whip up here. I've recently, you know, I'm getting, I'm slowly getting more and more brushes and more tools to use like here I have a bunch of brushes am I a guru yet look I'm a, I'm a guru yeah I have like three different brands of brushes right here Shh, don't tell anyone <laughs> so yes okay so why don't we start with my favorite movie as I try and figure out what in the world I want to do so my favorite movie of literally all time would have to be Beauty and the Beast. And Beauty and the Beast, the animated version. I love, 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 love Beauty and the Beast. Like, that is like the love of my life right there. And... I've just always really liked Beauty and the Beast. I don't really know why. It's just kind of like... I just think it's... It's not your stereotypical Disney movie. It's like... It kind of shows like what's wrong with people. Like judging other people. You know, based on like who they are. And I just... I think that's not cool. <laughs> but yes, I... Okay. We're starting. <laughs> But I love Beauty and the Beast because I just love the message behind it, and it's not your typical Disney movie. You know, all Disney movies are really like, oh, there's a girl in trouble, you know, a man's got to come and help her, and that's it. She has trouble finding who she is inside or whatever. And I mean, yeah, she does get a lot of help from a man in this movie, but she's also her own character. She's like, no, I, you know, he may be a beast, 
But I love him. I care about him, you know? And I just think... I just think that is the coolest thing ever. Like, I really, truly think that, um... Like, she can love who she wants to love, you know? And she doesn't have to, um... She doesn't have to be the stereotypical girl and, you know, fall in love with the a-hole of a prince. So, yes. Beauty and the Beast is, like, my all-time favorite movie. And my second all-time favorite movie is Brave. I love Brave because it's really not like your stereotypical movie. It's this girl, and she's, if you haven't seen Brave, but I'm pretty sure everyone has. But it's this girl who's, you know, her mom's trying to force her into marriage, and she's like, oh, I hate my mom. So she goes to, like, this witch place, and she's like, I wish my mom was a bear or gone or something like that. And her mom and her brothers turn into bears. <laughs> and she has to go through all this and, like, kill the spirit bear in order, by a certain time, to um, get her family back. And she really learns to, like, appreciate her mother and I think I also love that about that movie. <gasps> no. Is that, um, it's just, it really shows that, like, you know, your mom's always going to be your best friend. Your mom's always going to be there for you when no one else is. And it also shows that you don't have to marry who your parents find acceptable. Here's my dog. <laughs> but, so yeah, I love Brave as well. Okay. So, we are really going out with this makeup look. <sighs> this is going to turn out great. Alright, so next on the favorites. Hmm. I guess I'll do my favorite food. Because your girl likes to eat. My dog's trying to eat my makeup stuff. So, my, f let's see. My favorite food would have to be, okay, <laughs> y'all are probably going to think I'm weird, but it's called Yakiniku, and it is a place in Japan where you sit in this room, and you have to take your shoes off, and it's, I just think it's so cool, and there's like a little girl in the middle of the table, and it, um, it, uh, you cook your own meat, and then you can, like, wrap it in lettuce with rice and all kinds of other stuff and I just think it is so neat because like heck yeah I want to cook my own meat <laughs> like duh all right so yes all right all right <laughs> we're going we're going for it so yes, my favorite food is yakiniku and always will be yakiniku because I just, ugh, I love that stuff so freaking much. Violet, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, once again, disclaimer, I'm not good at this. <laughs> ah, let's see if I can fix it. Okay. So yes, my favorite food is yakiniku, and it's from Japan because I lived in Japan for a long time. Ooh, good lord, that does not look good. And I miss Japan so much. If you guys ever have the chance to travel, you know, in the world or somewhere, Japan is definitely a place to go because it's just wonderful. It is a beautiful, beautiful place. And, um... What are you eating? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so, yes. Please, if you ever have the chance, go to Japan. You will not regret it. You might regret not going. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright. Um. Since we're on the topic of places, might as well tell you my favorite place. And... This is so much. It's so pigmented. Like, really. And I can't fix it. I don't know how I'm going to fix it. <laughs> so, my favorite place, as you guys may have been able to tell, it's between Mississippi and Japan, for sure. 
because Japan is such an awesome place. Like, people are so nice over there, and they're so caring. And you would think they would hate Americans after, you know, what went down. But they actually don't, and I just think that is, like, so nice, you know? Yeah, I just think it's so great. <laughs> so, yes. Okay, we're gonna try this stuff again, but I gotta be real careful. <laughs> Really, tap it off. <laughs> yes. Alright, now my favorite breed of dog. We'll go there. My favorite dog breed. Hmm. My favorite dog breed would have to be um, a Shetland Sheepdog. And I used to have a Shetland Sheepdog myself. Insert picture here. And she was the, like, the love of my life. If she could be a human, I'd marry her, you know? But her name was Jasmine, and she was really the sweetest dog that I've ever had in my life. And she was just, she was always there. I know people are always like, oh, dogs can't talk, you can't talk to dogs, or they don't understand you, blah, 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 blah. But I truly and utterly felt like she understood me. And I just, I, I love her so much. Sadly, I don't have her anymore. She, um, passed away around this time last year. So it's been a year without her. Made a year on, like, Tuesday. And I miss her more than anything. I really do. And I just, I would, like, do anything just, just to have her back here. Because she really was, like, the best dog I've ever had in my life. Now, as you guys have seen in a few of my videos, I currently have a husky. Speaking of which, speaking of the devil. And, um, she is a big old pain in the butt. Like, she's currently trying to eat everything I have set up here. All my makeup, my phone, my computer, everything. <laughs> But, yeah. Favorite dog would be a Shetland Sheepdog, but I miss my dog, and I miss my dog so much. And now I have a Husky, and Huskies are beautiful dogs, but anyone out there trying to get a Husky, they shed a lot. A lot. Like, you could vacuum the whole living room, and in five minutes, it's going to be covered in hair again. It's a struggle. But they're beautiful dogs, and they're very smart, and right now, as you can see, they like to play. So... Alright, um, my, f what are some other, some of my other favorites? Ooh, my favorite sport. <laughs> my favorite sport would have to be soccer. 100%. I freaking love soccer. Like, soccer, whew, I'd do anything for soccer. I used to play soccer for, like, 12 years, 11, 10, 11, 12 years, something along those lines, and, um, oh wow, this is a good purple, <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, we're going somewhere, it's not looking that great, but we're going somewhere, so yes, I used to play soccer, at first I was a defender, then I went to midfield, and then when I got to Mississippi, I was, or er, when I was still in Japan, I was switched over to, um, good lord, I was switched over to goalkeeper, and I've been playing goalkeeper for like five, six years, I think. I found out I just like it so much better. <laughs> A lot less running as well. <laughs> still gotta be in shape though. So, I love soccer. I love watching soccer. That's something me and my mom do in our past, in our pastime, is just watch soccer. Especially now, because it is, uh, they're going through what is called the She Believes Cup. And, um, we are currently watching, you know, just to see where our girls go. We root for the U.S. of A, of course. But we also really do support Japan as well, because a Japan we just love Japanese people. 
So yes, my favorite sport would have to be um would have to be soccer. Um, let's see. It's so hard to think about, you know, things to talk about. Because I'm not a very talkative person. I know, like, on YouTube I seem like I'm talkative, but I'm really not. And, um, it's just hard to find things for me to talk about. Because I feel like I'm, I'm kind of boring. I'm a boring person. Even though many other people have told me, you know, India, that's not the case. You're not boring. You're actually quite exciting. And I'm like, Maybe. Maybe not. But, um... This is a really dark purple, and I do not have a purple dark enough for this. Let's try and mix it with this, maybe? Let's try this. Hmm. Might go good, might go bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just not that interesting of a person. Oh, that's better. Okay. Good job on me. Figuring that out. But yeah, so I don't really... Fun fact, I don't like to talk about myself a whole lot and like what I like and what I do and stuff because I just find it really boring. Ooh, come on. Come back to focus. <laughs> but yeah, I just kind of find myself boring. And it kind of sucks. So, But it is what it is. You know, you can't please everybody. And whatnot. So, we are just going to continue on with this makeup look. As you see, I've started to put some pigment to my eye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Y'all can't really see it. Okay. Once again, I'm not good at makeup. I'm not even going to pretend to try that I'm good at makeup. <sighs> because I'm not. I just, I want to get good at it because... I see so many makeup looks and they're just so cool, you know? And I just think they're they're really awesome. So yes, I love I've recently just wanted to really get into makeup and um start exploring, you know, what I can do and stuff. Which isn't a whole lot, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. And honestly, Call me crazy, but I don't think this is starting to look that bad. Okay, maybe it is. <sighs> I don't know. Alright. We're gonna... We're just gonna move on. <laughs> We're gonna move on and let's keep trekking ahead. And as I, as we do that, I'm going to talk some more about my favorites. Let's see. My favorite thing to watch on YouTube. That's a good one. Now, I'm very weird and I... I guess you can say picky, kind of, when it comes to what I watch on YouTube. Because, like, I like watching a lot of different things. I wa like watching people do... Mukbangs or mukbangs. I like people to see. Um, one of my favorite people is the Try Guys. Oh, love the Try Guys. Shout out to them for starting their own company and doing their thing, honey. But I think I love the Try Guys so much. And then I also love, as I'm pretty sure a lot of you know this person, Mr. Shane Dawson himself. Oh, I've been watching Shane Dawson since he was doing like skits. When he was like 19. Like I've. I've been an average subscriber. To Mr. Dawson. And the thing that I'm thinking about doing. Is actually. I know this is going to be stereotypical. Because everyone's doing it right now. But the Chuck E. Cheese thing. About them reusing their pizza. I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese in my area. And see what the deal is. Cause honey. That's a real conspiracy. <laughs> So, yes, I love Shane Dawson. I love the Try Guys. Um, some other people I watch is, like, Joey Graceffa, Smallish Beans, uh, LD Shadow Lady. I, lo I watch a lot of gamers, but I also lo watch a lot of people who just kind of vlog and do their own things. And I also watch people who 
do stuff like this. Just makeup. <laughs> like, I guess I'm kind of into James Charles a little bit. I'm not totally into him. No, I'm not like an avid watcher, but I do think that um, his videos and his makeup tutorials, the board, they're literally magic. Literally. Okay, we're actually making some progress, y'all. Like, it doesn't look, it doesn't look smack dab gorgeous, but it doesn't look horrible. Or am I just hallucinating? I don't know. So, now we're going to get into the mascara and eyeliner. Mascara? Easy peasy. Eyeliner? Honey, have y'all seen that wing that woman does? Hmm. But, we going to try it anyway and see what goes down. I'm going to close this before my dog tries and eats it. And so, okay, as I try and do eyeliner, <laughs> keyword try. Huh, I'm gonna do some more purple though. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do some more purple because it's not showing up that great. But, um, yes, I love those kind of YouTubers. Oh, stop, okay, thanks, thanks, dog. She just took my makeup wipe I was using. Gotta love my dog. So yes, I those are some of my few YouTubers that I like to watch and I think they're just really cool people and I just love watching their videos because it really gives me something to do. <laughs> Fun fact, I spend most of my time on YouTube. No kidding. Alright, um, what else? Ooh, my favorite TV show. My favorite TV show would have to be... Bones. I don't think they're continuing it anymore because they just came to like the end of a season recently. And right I'm currently binge watching the all the seasons <laughs> all over again, but I think they I don't think they're going to create any more. I wish they would cuz I love Bones so much. So yes, I love Bones because I just think it's really interesting to see what they come up with and also, I just, I just love how the characters are portrayed and, like, how just the flow of it goes, you know? Yeah, you know. So, oh, good lord, I'm spending, wow, I'm glad I don't do this every day because I would want to cry. Or actually, no, I wouldn't want to cry, you know what I'd do? <laughs> I wouldn't do it. <laughs> This is why I don't really do makeup is because I'm never satisfied with how something looks. So I always just think it looks really bad. And also it's just very time consuming. Because as you can see this video is already like almost 25 minutes long. And I still haven't even worked on the other eye. I just did one eye. I didn't even do foundation, concealer, eyebrows. I didn't even do all that. I did one I. I'm gonna get my life together. Okay, so far, like, color wise, I think we're good. And I'm just gonna stick with what I got right now. Because it looks pretty decent. So I don't want to mess it up anymore. Because. Yeah. Because I'm not trying to, like, mess up what I just did. Ooh. I think I just fixed what I just did. <coughs> so, yes. Oh, good forward. And... Okay. Now! We're done with color on this eye. Now we're going to do the hard part. Which is eyeliner. So this is liquid eyeliner. But I have it in, like, a little pen form. Because this is what my mom used. And she got me one because I thought it was so cool. And I thought, I was like, this is a lot easier. So, let's see where we go. Let's see if we can get this wing popping. <laughs> that was bad. Alright. Um, a place. Let's talk about a place I would love to go. Hmm. 
I would love to go to, let's see, where would I want to go to? Okay. I don't think this is going to work, y'all. Sorry, I got silent real quick, but I think I'm going to do this off camera real quick because... Hmm. Okay, so I'm back, and I decided that I'm not going to be that dramatic with the wing because your girl can't do a wing like that. Mm -hmm. So right now, I've just got something very simple, very short, safety speed. So yes, <laughs> I was having way too much trouble, even off camera, when I was like silent, not talking, trying to do this stupid wing. So, yeah, we're just going to do a little baby wing. We're just going to do a little bit of eyeliner. See, it's just, it's just a baby wing. Just a baby wing. But other than that, like, it's not looking too bad. It does, it looks very cut. So, anyway, we're going to continue on. Now, on to some lashes. <laughs> Now, good thing about me is that my eyelashes are actually very long in general, and they're also kind of thick as well, so that's good for me because I don't have to use fake eyelashes or, like, take a crap ton of mascara on. So, yeah, I can just do a little bloop, 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 bloop and be done, you know? Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. So, as I do this, this I can do with ease. Because when I do makeup, this is really the most I do. Some eyelash. Or not eyelashes. Um, mascara. You know, I mainly just do a little bit of mascara just to, you know, make the eyelashes pop out. And be like, dang, honey. Okay. So, yes. I usually apply them to the top and the bottom of my lashes. Or of my eye. I don't get too crazy with the bottom because sometimes it can look very unnatural. But as you guys can see, I do have some very long lashes. And they kind of look like fake eyelashes. You know, it's hard to tell over the camera. But in person, my eyelashes naturally look fake. <laughs> so, everyone always thinks that I have fake eyelashes. But I don't. They're all mine. <laughs> so... This look is coming along quite nicely. It's just like, hey, how you doing? How's it going? So, yes. And this is going surprisingly well. I'm not going fine. I say that, and then I remember that I gotta go do the other eye. <laughs> so, now we're just gonna do a little bit in the crease. Like she does. She does like a little shimmery glitter highlight looking thing so I'm gonna work with what I got which isn't a lot and just see if I can really imitate that because oh okay okay this actually working Ooh, okay okay I mean it's hard to tell you know, I'm sorry if I'm getting excited, guys, because to me this looks good, but I guarantee some of y'all are probably going to be like, what is she talking around? That looks gross. But, you know, I'm going to live my best life, and I'm going to do what I can to stay happy. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean. So... Got one other thing. Oh, wow. Okay, who's she? Who's that? <laughs> who's that? Ooh, okay. This is actually kind of working. Now, the purple on my eye it's not nearly as bright and vibrant as hers is because the purple I have isn't very vibrant to begin with. So. 
But other than that, I think we may be done. Yeah. Hold on. I think we are done with this eye, you guys. Wow, it only took me 30 minutes. But, here we go. This beautiful little eye look thing that we got going on here. We're just going to get rid of that. But, yeah, here we go. It's just very... Wow, it actually doesn't look too terrible. I'm actually kind of proud of this look. Like, I would say, you know, it's a solid, it's like a solid five. I'd say, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that is one eye done. 30 minutes into the video and that's one eye. Wow, this is going to be a long, long video. So I'm going to quickly go off camera, do the other eye, and then I will come back to you guys with the finished result. All right, you guys, I went ahead and finished the other eye, put on some lippity doodahs, and also put on a little bit of highlighter, and the final result in three, two, one, bam! What is up? What is good? Now, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm kind of feeling this look. I did like a little lip. I did like a darker color mixed with a lighter color and I like mixed them together. I don't know what I did, but like I'm not mad at it though. And this isn't the best, honestly. Obviously, you guys have seen better. But I feel like for me, this is a huge accomplishment because like I really don't do makeup and you know, this is kind of like stepping out my comfort zone and I have to say, I'm not mad at it. I'm mad at it. <laughs> so, yes, thank you guys so much. This was the video today. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm, once again, I am so sorry that I have not been around for, like, ever. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to try my best to upload tomorrow as well to give you guys two episodes in one week. Uh-huh. <laughs> I might even do another makeup look. Go something total left. Maybe not. So, once again, if you are new to this channel and this is your first time seeing me, please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big old like. And also, leave a comment. What would you guys like to see? Do you guys want to see me on my makeup journey to hopefully betterness? <laughs> but yes, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next one.